We're back, everybody. <laughs> With more chain echoes. We and fixed, hopefully less We fixed the stream. I hope. It hasn't dipped below several thousand, so we're good. Huh. Okay. Uh, I will pause the recording until I get to the location I want to investigate. Oh! I'm gonna die to leaping the frog, huh? I was not expecting, I was not ready to fight him. This is the other, this is one of the other unique monsters. Ah, <laughs> shit! for that. He just bodied me. Oh, and the recording didn't pause. Ah, oh, whatever. How the fuck did he even get there? He was not there before. Anyway. I, I've come through here like a dozen times. I also realized I could fast travel to roughly near the area I want to investigate around. <laughs> so a not so little birdie mentioned that there is a seat. There is a statue near a seaside town and the only town near seaside village so can I get down there yeah the seaside village is down there so I'm gonna I guess I can go take down the crabs too for that old woman who's like ah crabs taking my food hunger oh oh there Yep, uh, stream's trying. Stream is dropping. Hmm. Uh, how bad's the quality falling? It's not that bad. Cause we're at one third the K we're at one third the KBS. Like it might be laggy, but like it's not doing the pixel thing. So I, I think it's I think it's still okay. Yeah, we'll see. They started building this lighthouse before the war. That was over 150 years ago. Because of the war, they stopped construction, and never resumed their work. The children tell that the lighthouse keeper went mad and his ghost is still haunting this place. And I can't go into the lighthouse. Yeah, not so little birdie told me the fucking... It was near Seaside Village. This is the Seaside Village. So... How do I get anywhere where that I want to be? Uh, it's trying to stabilize.
Jesus. We're getting body here. <laughs> Statue's probably in this dolphin tail thing over here. I can't make that big jump up there. Oh, I'm dumb. No, I'm not dumb. I don't know how to. I, I can't get over there. Never mind. There's a little secret hidden door, hidden cave here, that has that serves no purpose. What? What is the purpose of this then? I need to get over there to climb, but I can't get over there to climb. So I should be able to do it then, because I can swim. All right, so okay. I, didn't, I didn't notice this little climbable thing here, so into the water I go. And the kid said, swim to in behind this big old tree for secrets. Four hundred and twelve money units. Any secret caves here? Doesn't look like it. Massive explore opening. Let's go. And I can climb up through here. Get this treasure. <laughs> Yo. Medallion. Magic plus three. Sounds like something my black mage wants. That's not a big enough waterfall to go down.
Well, then I should be able to actually swim around that lake if I find the fucking... the jump-off point. That's a big-ass world map. <laughs> Oh wow, the fucking I can even swim in this little stream here too. Fish. Probably there's probably like I don't know, there might be fishing in this game. I just freaking like <laughs> Oh, super explore now, let's go. Ah, fish man. If you see my wife, don't tell her I'm here. She booked a vacation at the ocean, despite fully knowing that I can't stand seawater. I mean, I'm a freshwater fish man. Damn it, is she trying to kill me? <laughs> well, there's the Fiorian couple, too. So, That's funny. I got that opened. I see you, Frogo. Alright, so I found the two fish couple. I wonder if I can go back and uh, tell her where he's at. <laughs> see, I, I guess if I just gotta find the right fucking jump off point. This game's kind of a lot. Like, the real question is, how would a seawater fish woman and a freshwater fish man have even, like, met and bonded? So I think I know where the jump-in point for the big lake is. And I feel like the statue's gonna be in the big-ass center of it. Or around that dolphin tail thing there, like I'm... Like I'm thinking. Big cat! So my initial idea of where the jump in point for the lake is is wrong. Lake, then. Can I get? Time for more exploring. Found a quest. Oh, that's Miranda. There you are, my saviors at last. Thanks a lot for helping me against those beasts at the mills. 
No problem. We were happy to help. Here, please take this as a small thank you. The comfy scarf. Anything else I can help you with? Okay, tell us about this village. Nothing much, really. It's like any other village. Humble, quiet, and mostly empty. Lots of young people go to Farnsport while the older townsfolk work in the fields. I sell goods from the farms to Flandern. That's why you need to cross Cortara? Right. Has anything happened lately? At the moment, the events in Farnsport are on everyone's lips. It distracts a little from the problems we have here. What problems would those be? You've probably heard that the number of monsters in Volandis has been increasing dramatically. In the last few weeks, we have also seen the appearance of beasts quite unknown to us. They have only killed animals so far, but since we know so little about them, everyone is afraid. Unknown beasts. And then there's the goblin problem. They showed up a few years ago. Until then, there were no goblins in all of Volandis. No one knows how they got here, but apparently they've spread underground. And now they come up to the surface from time to time and steal from us. For such a small village, you have a lot of problems. Well, we are tough, but closing... But closing the pass has hit us the hardest. If we don't sell our goods, we'll all starve again. And Farnsport can't possibly buy up the produce and merchandise of all the nearby villages. Sorry to hear that. Oh, please don't be. Nothing at the moment. If you need something, please come and visit me again. Comfy scarf. It's just... It does nothing. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? It, oh, immune again. Ah, silence immunity. Okay. So it doesn't provide any stats, but it does make me immune to being silenced. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I can do any island hopping in the center quadrant. I feel like that I feel like that's what it would want me to do. <laughs> Crystal has no purity left. I can upgrade the Gleam a little bit. So, I'm not sure if you can do this, but I have the instructions on how you get it. So I don't know if you actually can. But we can we can try to see if we can get it. Oh yeah, upgraded weapon. I need more tin ore, so I gotta kill more crabos. Yep, I need lots more tin ore. So much more tin ore, damn. So just let me know when you're ready. I will let you know when I'm ready. Okay. I need more ash and bones. Alright, I'm ready. What's in this house? Okay, so... It's life like for real. One moment. Do you want to know what it's like? Totally worse living the life... Do you want to know what's like totally worse than living the life of a farmer? Being a farmer's wife. Like, seriously, look at my mom. Not only do they have... Not only do they, like, have to help their husbands on the fields, but 
like they also have to continue working at home, always cleaning up after their husbands, as if. This will, like, definitely not happen to me. I'm totally moving to Farnsport. Whatever. So there's something to explore this house real quick. Have you talked to my daughter? She doesn't want to live in the village anymore. She dreams to move to the city, traveling the world and going on adventures. If I had the same dreams, I always said that I would leave Basil the next year. I said that year after year, but before you know it, I got married. Have You get married, have children, and need to settle down. I wish I had made different choices in life. Oh, sad. Welcome, travelers. Have you met my family? We are living a happy and carefree life here in Basel. She doesn't know it yet, but my daughter is going to marry soon. I chose a fine man as her husband, a farmer from Basel, just like me. This will be a nice surprise for her, so please keep it a secret. <laughs> Sorry, I've had a bit of moonshine. I will pet the cat. Sorry, farmer. Sorry, future farmer wife daughter. All right. Blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm ready. Instruct me. Okay. All right, so you have to, you're going to go to Basil. Yep, that's where I'm at. And then leave the area through the forest in the southeast. So it says, um, so I'll, I'll read from like at the start of it. So it says it's north. So where it's at is northeast of the seaside village on the plateau. So it says to reach it, you go to Basil and leave the area through the forest in the southeast. You drop oh, down. Southeast. I, just, I just went southwest. Whoops. Yeah. Wait, let's try this again. So I assume this would be the forest. I don't know if I can because that little tree's in the way. Oh. And then it says you drop down the hole and follow the path until you reach it. Oh man, how did I not fucking... Oh hey, lucked out there. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't, uh... I, I don't know how I didn't investigate that little quadrant right there. I don't know. I thought I did. But it is exactly in the place that I thought it would be, though. There you go. Wait. Oh, I climb. And then climb again. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of piggy pig. supposed to um I was supposed to switch to Kylian statue. Would you like to pray to the heroes of Leonar? Yeah, I, I completely just fucking glossed over that exit. I greet ye, adventurers of Atlantis. My voice echoing through thy heart shall bestow upon thee power ages, of ages long gone by. Prove thyself worthy and thou shalt receive the gift. Oh, many slew of horses. Well, we'll start with Valor Minuet. Many slurs. Thank you. 
Oh shit. High power! We're getting kind of stomped here. These things do a lot of damage. Those things do a lot of damage. All right, let's try and play a little smarter this time. Just straight up lower the damage I take. These things are beasts. Let's bring him in and actually do stuff. <laughs> Let's spread his poison to everybody. And then he's dead, and then she's dead. Holy crap. This is hard. These things hit really hard. Holy crap. <laughs> well, you might have been right about one thing. I might not be able to do it yet. <laughs> yeah. I just gotta get lucky on when he, uh, like, who they're attacking. <laughs> And I gotta make sure to lower my overdrive enough to where I'll still stay in overdrive when they're attacking the shit out of me. Oh, I gotta remember, Kylian has an acceptable single target heal.
things are hurting. keep pushing me in overheat then when they push me in overheat I just get wrecked yep oof yeah. alright this game actually is going to require a lot of strategy to fucking <laughs> to do good on this the hard mode Yeah, I was thinking, I don't know if you can't get it because it's hard mode oh. or if, like, you really just aren't meant to get the item right now. Oh, I can I can get it right now. I can get it. I can get it right now. I just have to play better. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just have to play better. Mm. All right, I will be right back. Okay. Shape skill. cheaper and then make it six turns I'll be right back to you then. <laughs> defend, so then. Ah. Actually, freaking. We can do this. Then we can apply armor break here. I'm gonna hit him with another water thrust. We're in overdrive. Why is this doing so much fucking damage? Play those doot doots. Oh yeah, look at that trumpet. <laughs> okay, so I was using his ultra move all wrong. Like it puts TP and HP regen on the party too. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna open with that. Alright, I have Beast Killer, so this should do a lot of damage. <laughs> 79, that is not as much damage as Gwen's nonsense.
item. Like, they bring me into overheat so fast. Damn. These guys hurt just so much. Like, if I can just kill one of them super quickly. Okay, so physical damage to all enemies reduces attack, magic, defense, and... Oh, hell yeah. Let's just debuff them all. Now we got it. <laughs> oh, we might not have it now. Yeah, I guess I gotta switch out more frequently than I have been because that get that also slightly lowers the overdrive to help me stay out of overheat. Ah, okay. You gotta play smart. Got him. Just gotta play smart. Like it, it's it requires strategy. Ye have mastered the challenge. Brave warriors have proven thyself worthy. 
I accept the emblem offered by Mad Him the Warrior. Now go forth, brave warriors and curious adventurers, for thee are the future of Eldrea. I'm a warrior now. Glenn looks like he'd be a warrior. A physical combatant and jack of all trades. All right, what skills has he now? Power Pierce. So 1.8 times damage. Power Swing. Let's see. Physical multi-hit attack. 0.7x per hit. And it hits three times, so that's 2.1 times damage. For less than power pierce. Yep. Power swing. Not bad. Attack up. Sounds good. Defend, gain... Ooh. Gain HP with a potency of 5 when defending. Interesting. I don't really need the class action skills. They're not very good. Like, it's good that he has an AoE attack now. Alright. Alright. Well, until next time, everybody. More story progress. Yeah.